The airship Hindenburg was 804 feet. The people on board had accommodations similar to the auto train going to Florida. They were served fine German wine and food. They even had a baby grand piano made out of aluminum and a lounge, believe it or not, where it was pressurized despite the fact they carried hydrogen, you could smoke. Ever since he visited Naval Air Station Lakehurst as a young boy in the 1940s, Carl Jablonski is at a fascination with everything about the base. Now 74 years old, Mr. Jablonski is an expert on the lighter-than-air era. He's been deeply involved with the Navy Lakehurst Historical Society for 25 years and president for 20. He's an outspoken advocate of continuing and even expanding the role of Joint Base McGuire Dix Lakehurst. Most of all, he's eager to generously share his encyclopedic knowledge with everyone for free. My important role, I believe, is that I have devoted the time to here. I'm very flexible. I have put basically 24-7 into this. Years ago, it was not a 24-7. Today it is. We're always doing something on the base or off the base, and it gives me great satisfaction to know that I can be a part of this. In 1935 and 36, his father said, up on board. Carl Jablonski conducts and manages educational tours of the base, including this museum that's chock full of military memorabilia, and the historic Hangar 1 that now houses a two-thirds size aircraft carrier. His knowledge of the ill-fated Zeppelin Hindenburg has landed him in countless television documentaries and earned him revered status with visitors to the base. I was fascinated by the amount of information that he knows right off the top of his head, so obviously he's done a lot of his own research and he's been uh, talking about this information for years that he can just know every little detail about everything that's in the display case and be able to explain it to just an ordinary person um, and make it interesting and fun to, to learn about. I, it was great. Every May 6th, at exactly the same time the Hindenburg is set to have crashed, we do a memorial service at the actual site, which is located here on the base. This memorial marks the spot of the Hindenburg's tragic end in 1937. During a delayed landing attempt following a storm, a guide wire may have broken and caused a small leak in the rigid airship that was carrying passengers here from Germany. The rest is well-known, well-documented history. A small spark caused a small flame. The small flame became a big flame, went through the 16 cells of hydrogen, 7 million cubic feet. In only 34 seconds, the airship was burning and on the ground. 36 people perished, 35 on board, and one on the ground. This is terrible. This is one of the worst catastrophes in the world. It's remembered as a very vivid disaster because it was actually filmed and still photographed as it happened. For weeks thereafter, it was shown on newsreels and theaters. It was the front page headline in every paper. It was every radio broadcast. For his dedication to the Navy Lakehurst Historical Society and his tireless efforts sharing his vast knowledge, the Ocean County Cultural and Heritage Commission has chosen Carl Jablonski for the 2016 Pauline S. Miller Lifetime Achievement Award for Ocean County History. One of the criteria for the award is that it has to be a public uh, impact on Ocean County's vision of itself and the vision of Ocean County from outside. And certainly with the Hindenburg and what Carl's been doing with Lighter Than Air, uh, he's gotten this international recognition for Ocean County and what's happened here. I am totally flabbergasted to have been chosen to receive this very prestigious award named after a woman who also devoted so much time and energy to the history of Ocean County. It is a real honor. With that, it's back to work. Running tours, organizing displays, and devoting his life to the place and to the history that he loves. It makes me go home feeling good. It makes me feel good when I see people leaving here with smiles on their faces or when they say, gee, I'm glad we came here. It was worth the time.